Yeah, that was a great game to watch. Your lads have played a full part in that. Yeah, great game that we come out at the wrong end of. But, you know, we'll give it a right go. It probably was an entertaining one for the crowd. It was a good atmosphere, etc. But we come out at the wrong end of it. Um, lots of positives. But in, at the end of the day, we, we didn't defend them moments of the crosses. And at the, the back post, you know, two similar goals, which is disappointing. In terms in terms of the overall game, I think we were worth something from the game. Um, so that's disappointing. But in terms of commitment and effort, I thought... I think it's there to see today. You've said it there. Ultimately, that's what it's come down to, isn't it? An error that you can't legislate for. That's that's cost us the the, the goal that's won the game. It does, but we need to rectify them, don't we? Do you know, um, going forward, um, small margins like that, isn't it? We talk about small margins, and I hope, you know, from the commitment from the players, like it has been, I thought they were really good, and you deserve that that stroke of luck. But we never got it today. But if they keep working like that, I'm sure as a group they'll get them breaks and, and results will come come with them. Just under 350 fans, I think, from the noise they were making, they, they were enjoying what they were watching. Yeah, it was a really good atmosphere, and our fans were, were fantastic. You know, it was really loud, good atmosphere, and, and you know, it's just a disappointment we couldn't get a result for them at the end, especially when we're attacking that end. We had half chances, decent chances. Lofty had one where you're thinking, go on break the back of the net and etc but it, it wasn't to be able to do that's another lesson to learn when a chance comes like that one did come for Lofty put it away it's a diff- totally different end result you know everyone says it and, it and it's cliche but it's both boxes you know we haven't defended them two balls into the box two similar goals and then we've got to be clinical in that box and, and if you do that you, you get results unfortunately it wasn't for us today but I'm sure as a group we'll keep working hard and make sure that that happens I think somebody said earlier that it's the fastest goal in all four divisions of this season. I'm sure when you were sat there last night, you weren't thinking to yourself, we'll be one up in 23 seconds. No, no, you, you delayed your score early on, but you think, oh, that's, that's, that's quite early. And it did, for the next 20, 25 minutes, affected affected the game because how we were going to set up, etc. But, um, no, delighted for Lofty. Delighted for Lofty. I think that's five or six he's got now, so that, that's good for him. Um, and he'll take confidence from that. But, you know, unfortunately, I'd have taken one in the 90th minute as well to just be greeting and finish 2-2. What a clinical goal, though, Gav. The way Geth got it in the, initially, then the bounce off of Ola Moller and excellent the cross. Run. Yeah, excellent work. And a good run that he's been working on the last couple of weeks in training. Lofty getting in between the sticks and finishing it. So, you know, pleased for him. Like I say, I'm sure he would swap it for three points. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen. but um, no, I'm sure he'd swap that for three points and, and going forward. But like I say, it's, it's both boxes. It doesn't. We've come out the wrong end of a result. Positive performance, lots of energy and commitment, but ultimately we've come out. 4-4-2, Gav. First time we've seen that start in the game this season. Was that you stamping your mark, or is that in respect to the opposition? It's a bit of both. I think formations blend into you know different ones at times. It was 4-4-1-1 or 4-3-3, etc. With the players we had today, you know, a couple of little knocks and injuries, we felt that was the best way to go. After that frenetic 15 minute start where we've got the goal as well, very few chances given away. Adam Collin not having to do much, he must have been delighted with that. That's a disappointing thing, you know. I don't think, you know, they've had pressure and the crowd get up, but actually, if you look, I know they've hit the inside of the post, but apart from that, Adam hasn't had to make any great saves. They haven't missed any sitters. So it's disappointing you defend that well, but then you can't defend them, them moments uh, in the second half. You mentioned Lofty, big decision to start with him. What was the thinking behind that one? Um, he's, he's been patient and just given him, give him opportunities. He's, he's trained well this week, he's trained well the last couple of weeks. Um, he scored four or five goals, like we say. Um, so give him an opportunity. You said you'd be proud. Is that how it felt stood out there today? He did, yeah. But I would have been even proud if we could have taken something from the game. Um, like I say, ultimately, it's not about myself. I, although it is a proud moment, it's not about myself. It's about, about the, the lads in there and, and their disappointment at the moment. So saw Eric and, and Bertie were here as well. What was the, the thinking behind getting them along today? Well, they were at Rochdale today, the, the youth team. They had a good win, fair play to them. And, they, and then just, it's just down the road, it was good that they came down to support. What's the gaff not involved at all today, Gav? What was, is, is that with the stitches in his head there? He's got a lump on his head, so he couldn't really head it. You know, the stitches and the lump on his head made it really uncomfortable to head. And if you're playing in the middle of the park, it's, it's not ideal. We have to ask the question. It's an obvious one to ask. Does this give you a real taste? Or would you, do you want to now speak to the board about your position it's been a long week and I'll keep saying it and batting it back but it has been a long week I, honestly I'm, I'm far of it it's been you know like I said the gaffer was really I think really highly of him um, and I do, I'm sure there's lots of people here that have got the CVs and etc I'll just you know go home disappointed proud of the players efforts and, and see me and two little boys and my wife tonight
And ultimately, you go away, as you've said, it feeling proud of the, the efforts that the boys have put in for you. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, for themselves, do you know what I mean? I'm pleased with the effort they put in for me, but proud, proud, the effort they've been. But like I keep saying, it, it's them three points. We need them three points at the moment. But I think you always get you've seen the supporters at the end. You know, they're, like you've mentioned, they were right behind us and they give us a big clap off at the end. So. They'll take something fr from today, but like we keep saying, we need to keep working hard and make sure results come. Well, the league table does look horrible, but does this show us that there is something there that we can work with? There is, you know, I think after we come off the back of a couple of league results, etc., that, that, that were positive, but we need to make sure we need to get more and more positive results, because you don't, that league table, like you say, doesn't look pretty. But if we cut them moments out and more clean than the box, I'm sure there's a three-point on the corner. Okay, thanks for your time.